Where's that treasure? Arr, what's up everybody it's the pirate stacker coming at you if you watched our video yesterday we talked about the coins we are grading with pcgs uh, i am gonna go ahead and submit i did call and talk to pcgs yesterday uh, they are doing same day grading at the fun show in january however there is an additional cost to it, so it does cost more than grading online. If you get your membership with your four free grades or your eight free grades, those do not count at the fun show. Those are only for online submittals. So that kind of rules that out from the get-go. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit today. I wanna beat the holiday rush before Thanksgiving here get it out in the post and uh, and get it to PCGS. I'm gonna walk you through it. If you've never done it, neither have I. Let's find our way uh, down the rabbit hole. <laughs> so I'm on PCGS.com. I get to here and the first logical place I wanna go is submit. I click on submit online submission center, membership required. Now, Annex, you don't have to be a member, but NGC and PCGS, you do. And uh, we're gonna just stumble our way through this. I'm gonna probably cut out and go as we go. Now, I do know we're picking a membership. They come with vouchers and some come with none. Silver, no grading vouchers. Gold, four grading vouchers. Platinum. 249 bucks, eight grading vouchers. That's the one I'm doing. Boom, credit card info. I'm gonna enter it in, see where it takes me. And just like that, they took my money. They said they emailed me a confirmation. Or com confirmation. Uh, electronic grading vouchers have been emailed. Boom, right there. And, uh, and then it does say, be aware, it does say that this is a recurring membership, uh, which what that means is next year, it's gonna charge me again and update. So if you don't want that, you will want to cancel before your year is up. Let's see what's next. So I got an email, but it didn't say anything about the voucher. So stupid me, I come up here, click on my account, and then it shows me on my account, I have eight grading vouchers available. Expiration date, November 22nd, 2023. So I am now an active member of PCGS. So that's cool. And I'm just gonna click on this, start a submission. And let's see what it says. Online submission, build your coin submission. Important note, service levels listed below require PDF submission form. Uh, yeah. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm gonna click on start. All right, coin type, submission type, service level, coin entry, holy moly. All right, we're gonna start with US coins. That will be the type. If I have to do this for everyone, it could take us a while. Service group, I have a voucher. Standard or gold shield? Man, standard, I know gold shield, I believe just costs $5 more. I'm gonna do the gold shield. Uh, a lot of stuff I don't wanna read, so I'm just gonna say got it. Grading, raw. Genuine option, genuine with details. Do not hold her genuine. Oh, we better read this. All coins submitted are subject to being deemed as genuine, not gradable. Full grading fees will be charged for either option. Genuine with details default will print the coin problem as well as the details grade. Do not. Okay, so if it's gonna charge me either way, I'm gonna do genuine with details. Um, we can always break them out, right? And, uh, I don't know what the reconsideration, oh, okay, that's not us. Let's hit next. This is how we fumble and bumble our way through, right? Uh, economy, non-gold, modern value, 
Modern 19. So these, I believe, are economy, not gold for all of them. Max coin value, 300. Now, I do actually have two coins that I think may be worth more than three. Uh, that'll be our Seated Liberty $1 and the Seated Liberty or the Trade Dollar. But it doesn't give me an option for that, so I think I'm just gonna click next. Economy non-gold is what we're doing. Order entry. And now, description, enter PCGS number, keywords, denomination, year, etc. All right. Online items where the quantity of coins is greater than one, the declared value entered is divided by the quantity of coins to determine the coin declared value. Uh, I'm gonna start filling this out. Whoa, and then we got all kinds of, okay. Okay, I'm gonna start filling this out. We'll check back in a sec. All right, I've now added my coins. For some reason, I couldn't figure out how to get a new listing for a coin value more than 300. So I listed these two at 300, even though I think they're worth more. Uh, and I've heard that they'll just contact me if it grades out higher and say, hey, you owe us more money. At least that's gonna be the hope, right? Add new items, service level fee, eight times 22 fee, 176, yada, 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 yada. Eight coin voucher gets applied, booyah. Minus 176. Uh, guarantee premium, no, estimated total charges, 43. And I believe that's for the shield that I did. And uh, next. All right, and we keep scrolling. Payment method, all fees must be paid in advance, blah, 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 blah. And I'll do my card and go to next. All right, so there's my order list. My total declared value, 1635. Again, I think I'm closer to 2400 if those big ones grayed out. And uh, with that, I am going to click down here. I have read, they will charge me once the coins are received, I guess, for that extra 43. And I don't know what's coming up next. Boom, your submission has been successfully completed. Okay, please print, sign, and date, and enclose a signed copy with the coins listed on the submission form you will be sending to PCGS to assist in preparing your package for delivery. Review the shipping instructions below. The order total are valid 30 days from today. If received after 30 days, you may be subject to a price change. To print flip labels, please insert Avery 1816 or compatible labels in your printer for printing the PDF file. Any labels, I don't know what that is. Uh, and then it looks like I print this form, which shows my address and uh, I will package things up and show you what it looks like. All right, at the end of all that, it does give you shipping instructions. And then it shows an example, Mylar Flip, your coin, and a little label that you can put there. And that's that. Now there is a whole bunch of forms and I'm assuming I print all these off and I add them. I'll keep you posted on how that turns out. So as I'm going through my list, I see this PR, which stands for proof. I don't have anything proof. I don't know how to edit that. And I'm hoping that they just correct it because if they go to grade it as a proof, they're gonna be like, nope, failure. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna send it and hope they fix my mistake. What do you think? <laughs> All right, so just like it shows in the picture, I put it in the flip, I put the line piece with it. I'll tell you what, this is nerve wracking. Packing things up to move is a, uh, yeah, 
I... I seriously am nervous that I did it wrong. I'm nervous that it's not gonna get there. I'm nervous about every step of this. <laughs> All right, it's sent. So I'm just finished at the post office, boom. Uh, I went and sent it next day, priority. Uh, it was 30 bucks. The reason being is we're coming up on Black Friday. I really don't want this package to get caught in the mess of all the shopping packages. And uh, so it was worth it to me. Now, let me just, whew, my heart's racing. Look, sending your stuff in the mail is sketchy at best anyway. Uh, and I've not had very good, I mean, I've had some packages lost. Truthfully, this package that I just sent I got 1600 bucks of my money in those coins <laughs> that went. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, now I'm into this thing 293 plus another 30. So we're talking about, I'm into this 320 bucks. Basically, that's 40 bucks a coin to get graded. I got two grand in that package. If that goes missing, that hurts, that sucks. <laughs> uh, I never thought I would spend that kind of money on coins. My wife doesn't watch my channel, thank God, because she would flip if she knew I had that kind of money in eight coins. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to get there. I want confirmation that they've got it as soon as possible. Looks like it takes two months to make this happen. I definitely know I made at least that proof mistake. Uh, hopefully no others, but I probably did. Hopefully they fix that. Look, if, it, if the package gets there and comes back, I'm a happy man. I'm disappointed if I get cleaned or details on some of these high dollar ones. But I expect there's got to be at least one or two that gets kicked back for it. Uh, moral of the story. High dollar coins. Uh, I'm going to still buy raw, seated, and capped bust coins when the right ones come my way. I'm not going to buy high dollar ones to grade. I'm going to buy them already graded. And that's just where my head's at. Um, this experiment, the extra money in, I mean, at this point in time, again, I'm in it two grand. I'm hoping if they all get the right grades or what I'm hoping for, it's 2,500. At this point, <laughs> it's not really a deal. <laughs> you know, I mean, really, I'm in it 1,900 hoping for 25. I don't like it. Uh, but I'll be excited to have it come back. It's an experience. I hope you got something out of what I did today. Uh, 40 bucks a pop. Even with the vouchers, you're looking at 40 bucks a pop to uh, get your coins graded. I already know some of those that are 100, 110 bucks. Why would you grade that coin? That was stupid. Especially with the chance of it getting details or whatever and being not worth hardly anything. Worth what I paid for them. Anyway, uh, fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we have some good updates about this along the way. That's it for today. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>